Six baseball teams from the 409 remain on the long road to state. This week, two of them will meet. 409 Sports, Mike Canizales has a closer look at the madness. You would have to go back to the spring of 1999 to find the last time PNG and Nederland brought their mid-county madness into the regional quarterfinals. And just like that fateful weekend in May, the Bulldogs are hoping history repeats itself. Uh, it'd be a huge uh, victory for us uh, just because it's PNG. You know, uh, it's always anytime uh, you beat PNG, it's a big win. So I just think it's like any other time we play them, just a little, just the stage is a little bigger. No Nederland head coach Brian Spell understands the magnitude of this rivalry. For he and his Bulldogs, this is just another roadblock in achieving the school's first state championship. I think the biggest thing for us is an opportunity to continue to move on. You know, we talked about it before we played Angleton. You, know, you earn the right to, to, to spend another week together as a team. And so regardless of who's in that other dugout, we know it's Port Nature's. So, you know, we're not kidding ourselves, but the opportunity to play one more week together in advance in the state playoffs is bigger to us than, than beating a rival or anything else. After losing four straight to the Bulldogs, Indian head coach Scott Carter welcomes the opportunity to prove they are a much different team than previous encounters. Well, we realize they're a good baseball team. I mean, they're well coached. They do a good job over in Nederland. They always do. Uh, it's always a battle. I think you can throw the record books out. And this is third round of the playoffs, and we're a different team now. They're a different team now, and I think we show up and just try to play our best baseball. Since 1925, the Indians and Bulldogs have battled for bragging rights on the football field. And for both teams this Thursday, things will be no different on the diamond. I don't know that you can really put a, a measuring stick on, on football and baseball mid-county madness, but uh, they're both really special. And there'll be a lot of people at the ball game. And for us to get a win this weekend and, and move on would be outstanding for our community and, and all the players that worked really hard this year. Uh, I know they're working really hard over there to do the same thing. So it's just going to depend on who shows up and plays that day. For 409 Sports, I'm Mike Canizales.